These are the new undercover made in Italy. Are they good? I don't know, but let's find out. So, some of you may know, some of you may not, but Undercover is a company that I used to work for in the early, like mid-2000s, I used to be brand manager, marketing manager, I don't really know what I was for Undercover, but I was basically in charge for the brand. At the time, the goal was to turn this unknown brand called Undercover into something that would make an impact on the market. We started by making colorful wheels and, well, it went from a wheel that wasn't that good to basically the best wheel on the market. Over the past couple of years, Undercover was known for making wheels in USA. Basically, that was one of their slogans, UC by Matter, meaning that only USA wheels were made when they had this UC logo. Usually, USA wheels meant high quality urethane. Super high rebound and wheels that would last long, they would be fast, and people really, really enjoyed the undercover wheels. Now, throughout the pandemic, a lot of things changed. Not every company was able to get the wheels that they needed. And, then the, and undercover was another one of those brands. So they had to start supplying some of their wheels from China. They started a new line called the Undercover Raw. And more recently, they started getting wheels made in Italy. Now, I don't know if they're good, but these wheels were sent to me by Undercover, which is a company owned by Powerslide. And when I asked Matthias, the owner of Powerslide, are they good? He was like, well, they are good wheels, but they do feel different from the Undercover wheels that you are used to, meaning the made in USA. And I asked, what does it mean different wheels? Are they as fast? Because that's one of the things that I like the most about the cover wheels. He said they're different. They're probably not as fast, but they feel harder. So I'm going to test them today. The way that I'm going to test this is I'm going to be skating this rollerblade blank team with a Featherlight 4 frame. And the liner is the MyFit Prime liner. It's a setup that I only skated once yesterday. I actually tried to film this video yesterday, but I couldn't. But I'm gonna be skating with 58 millimeters from Dad. Now the Dad wheels are some of my favorite on the market right now. I have 95A and I don't wanna say anything wrong, but I think these are 88A in the front and back. And the ones that I'm gonna be testing from undercover in the exact same skate are 90A. 58 millimeters, 90A. The profile is also a little bit different, but the reason why I'm using these wheels is because these are made in USA in the exact same factory where the undercover wheels that most people know, the made in USA, are made. So I'm gonna be skating just for a little bit with these, and then I'm gonna to switch to the undercover wheels, and I'm gonna be able to tell you if they feel faster, slower. Of course, they're not gonna be as hard as the 95 A's, but I'm gonna be able to test some of the things that I want, and I believe that you guys are gonna want it too. So let me just put this on and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So these skates, the thing is, they, I love them. And I tend on trying to go for the 42.5. I am 275 millimeters foot length. I keep on trying, like the reason why I changed the, the liner, the stock liner is not because they're not good, it's because I'm trying to, to get the liner that gives me the most space for my toes. And this liner, let me tell you, they feel great. They really feel good. It's, it's kind of like a mix of an intuition with a thick tongue. That's what this is. But they give me a lot of space, but still not enough. I think miracles will not happen. I, <laughs> I keep on trying to go for the, the 42.5, but I, I may need to try to go for the bigger size shell. 
Some skates, like the Mesmers, I'm able to skate a size 42 comfortably. But I, I honestly don't know why I keep on trying to go down size. It's just, at this moment, it's just plain stupid. We got the wheel addict helmet by Inui, now available. The way that I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to go to the ball because the ball is one of those places where I can actually test the speed. Then there's this little wave here, which I believe it's going to be a good way for me to test how they slide or not. I know that these 95 A's, they do slide good. Let's see if the wheels make any difference. Okay, so the ball has been painted. <laughs> Look at this, looks nice. It's full of shit there. It's all good. Just gonna do like a simple line and see how it goes. Oh my God, it's confusing to ride it. It's really confusing to ride the ball because it's new. So you, the whole paint doesn't really allow you to see where the curves are, at least to me. Gladly there's some shade, but even like that, they obviously, 58, at least these ones, the dead wheels do not feel like some famous, which is a aluminum core wheel, which is the ones that I usually skate there, 60 millimeters. Something also that I feel about these wheels, especially the, the dad is like, I don't feel them completely round. I don't really know how to explain this, but it kind of feels like there's a little, I don't know how to explain. It's kind of like if the wheel, instead of being perfectly round, as imagine for every degree, you will have a flat part. So of course they will roll, but I feel like they go. It's a bit weird. They don't roll completely smoothly, but it's, it's not my first set of dad wheels and as they get, as you skate them more, it gets obviously different. Now, let me try the wave and see how it goes on the wave. Just a simple back royal. Can get the speed, it's the wind. I'm gonna blame it on the wind or on the wheels being slow. Okay, that's something. Simple back royal. I'm gonna try something a bit harder. I'm also gonna do like a little back savannah just to see how it goes. And then I'm gonna do a negative acid there, which are like tricks that I usually do. I haven't done with this frame, with these skates, with these wheels, but it's usually something that I'm able to do. <laughs> Wasn't the wheels. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. I just don't know what I did here. <laughs> I kick my foot while trying to do this. This is something that I usually do. Let me do it again. Okay. It's about the, the best that I can do it. Now, a little negative acid here. Okay. Yeah. I guess I will just put one extra trick. And that would be just the front side on the long rail. Oh! <laughs> Didn't count. Okay, I gotta blame it on something, so I'm gonna blame it on me. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Can't. Let me change the wheels and see if I can blame it on the wheels. Before even going all in, I want to try something that maybe can work, maybe not. I'm going to change the wheels on one skate only. Okay, let's see how this goes. You know, some wheels, sometimes it's extremely easy to put the bearings. This is not like one of the artists or anything like that, but it's tight. I mean, the... The bearings are not loose, which is usually <laughs> a sign of shitty wheels. So 
not the case here so that you are aware check this the sound soft there's like it's more like i don't know more muffed check this the dad they to me they're a lot more plasticky which is perfectly normal because i got some 95a wheels here that's just some initial reaction now let's just check the speed wow this actually feels faster than i was expecting way faster than i was expecting let's go to the bowl okay i'm going to do the exact same line where i'm going to just do the exact same carve it's basically eight I don't know if everyone is going to feel like this. These ones on my left foot are the undercover made in Italy wheels. These are the dead 90, uh, 88, 95 in the middle. These are 90. They really are feeling faster. Have I been mistaken by thinking that USA wheels are Faster? <laughs> I don't know. Well, famous wheels already proven me wrong because famous wheels, from what I know, are the fastest wheels on the market. Undercover Apex are also really fast to me, and they're also made in China. So, yeah. And tall. Uh, it's, it's softer. One is poof, the other one is clack. Okay, let's see how this goes. They do feel fast. Okay, I'm gonna shake it a little bit. I'm gonna start, like I'm scared of this because if the wheels get sticky, it can be dangerous. But I'm gonna start with the negative acid. I'm gonna try to do it in a line. Negative acid, then I go around. Then I do my backside. Royale, then I'm gonna go all the way up there and try to do the real first try. Well, if this happens, these are my favorite wheels on the market. <laughs> Let's see it. They do feel fast here. Okay, I go here. Now a back royal. The back royal was a bit meh. First try, that would be amazing. <laughs> Not my favorite wheels on the market. <laughs> Let's see, maybe. They do feel really good. M better than I was expecting, honestly. Let's go again. Come on, why can't I do the rail one single time? Yay! <laughs> now, Back Savannah and the bull ride. Okay, it's not perfect, but I'm okay with that. Let's see the bull ride. Initial reactions. On a first test they're amazing now I'm not 100% sure how much they're gonna last how long they're gonna last so it's gonna need to be it's a process you know like dad wheels like I was skating there are people saying that they, they can skate the whole wheels for the whole year if they skate flat I I don't skate that much street, so wheels with me obviously will last longer than on a street skater. And right here, I'm with a, 
and with a flat setup. I wouldn't skate anti-rocker with 58 millimeters, at least me. I tried to go for anti-rocker with 60 or maybe 62, mostly 60, you know. But yeah, if they, if they handle the 58 anti-rocker, then it's perfect. Now, I can't really complain. Speed-wise, they're awesome. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you want to see a follow-up of what's happening here, if the wheels last or about the other gear, like about the liners or about the frame, I'll be making reviews of these, or at least I'll be speaking on detail about each one of these products. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, leave me suggestions here. And more important than anything else, just don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon. I'm going to keep skating a bit more. Whoop. <laughs> that hurt. Ow. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. That's it. End of the video. I just wanna have fun, turn around now, turn around now. I just wanna have fun, turn around now.